Last year, police officers arrested more than 2 million American children under the age of 18. A disproportionate number of them were African American and Latino. Can this pipeline to prison be stopped? With us, juvenile court judge Leslie Harris. I'm Maria Hinojosa. This is One on One. Do you feel like you're just, you know, running like Sisyphus, just trying to get up that hill and you've got all of this against you? You've got budget cuts that are going to influence. You've got, you know, the schools that are that are cracking down and, and cutting programs. And here you are, you essentially see these kids when they're about to go over the edge. One of the wonderful things about being a judge and living in the community is I see my kids. I run into them. The other day I ran into a guy, he's 20 years old. He said, you were my judge, weren't you? I said, yes. He said, well, I didn't get in trouble anymore. I listened to you, you know. And the, his girlfriend came out, judge, oh, you really saved him. And, I, you know, you get that once in a while. Not all the time, but you get it. And it's what makes it possible to go back and deal with the other cases where you're not so successful. So give me a success rate, judge. What are we uh, talking about? I have no about? idea. I mean, are we talking about... Most of our kids are wonderful young people. The vast majority, I'm talking 95% of our kids are just that. Children who were in the wrong place or did something stupid one time or twice, you know, but really aren't bad. They're not out trying to hurt people. We have that small group of kids who keep coming back, who are out robbing people, intimidating people, who are violent. Yes, ma'am, they exist and we need to deal with them but we don't need to throw them away. We need to take the time to try to change their lives. When you find out the history of some of these children, what they have been through. And do you, are you able to ask that from the We do get it, you know, we, get the, we have a court clinic which helps us. They do counseling, but they also do competency and criminal responsibility. Um, DCF sometimes will give us a history about this child. And you see generation after generation of abuse. You see generation after generation of drug addiction. And then you say, how did it take this child so long to end up, in, to front end up in front of me? And when you see that case of that kid who's got a generation or another generation behind him of this problem, how do you save him? I mean, do you believe that from you sitting on that court bench, looking so authoritative and at the same time being able to talk with them in a very honest, clear, on their level, how many of them are you able to actually get through? I think we get through to more than we think. I ask kids to give me their word. Oh, I love that. And I'm sure there are people who are saying, mm, there's a judge don't saying, understand. give me your word. People don't understand. You when want a child to give these gives kids them, a benefit of the doubt. They give you their word that they're going to do something like go to school. Give me your word you're going to be in school every day. I said, I'll take your word the first time. Now, if you don't do it, then we have to deal with that. I said, but you give me your word as a person talking to me, I'm going to take your word the first time. Because that's what I would want people to do for me. I so I take your lawyer's word, because most of the lawyers I know, I said, if they say this is what happened, I don't question that. I want to be able to do the same thing with you. You are hopeful for these kids. Oh, yes. Where did you get the notion of hope, and what is the hope that you want to leave us with so that when we see these kids, we don't see monsters and potential criminals. We see hope. Someone who had dealt with me as a child, I was told I'd never finish eighth grade. But people who had no obligation to me, who did not know me sometimes, helped me. And I feel that I owe them and I owe our children the same benefit. You know, that it's not just my biological children I'm concerned about. I'm concerned about everyone's child.